Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, Shalom be Yeshua. Peace in Jesus Christ. Sabihin mo, maghanap ka ng kausap. Maghanap ka ng kausap. Oh, sabihin mo. So, mag, mag, anap ka ng kausap. Uh-oh. Sabihin mo, peace in Jesus, in Christ. Peace in Christ. You are, sabihin mo, you are, you are perfect. Sabihin mo, sa katabi mo, kausapin mo. You are perfect in Christ. You are whole in Christ. You are... Uh, ano pang gusto nyo? Ando na lahat kasi sa salitang yun, ang lahat ng kailangan din natin eh. Amen? Kaya sinabi ng Lord, go in peace. Alam niya na meron kang daladala. God knows. God, He knows. Tayo na lang ang hindi nakakaalam na meron tayo noon. Sinabi niya, go, go in peace. Kasi alam niya na meron kang daladala. Amen? Perfect. Whole. Walang labis. Walang kulang. Amen? Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, you are saved, you are saved. by grace. Through Through? Through faith. Sabihin mo, hindi niya faith. Hindi niya. Faith mo. Hindi si faith. <laughs> Amen? So, sa hapong ito ngayon, sinong naniniwala na God wants you to progress Progressively. Hindi ka lang, you are work in progress, but you are progressive, progressively. Alam mo yung, you have, you have no choice in Christ but to progress. Amen? Amen? Sabi sa scripture, Romans 8, Therefore, now, no condemnation to those who are in Christ. To those What? To those who are in Christ. <laughs> sa alam ko, asawa ko yun. Boses yun ang asawa. <laughs> Sino yun? Si, si, or si Lorraine? Ay, gusto niya yung linyang, yun tayo yung pinaka-the best na linya. Amen? So, there, therefore, no condemnation. Tell the person next to you. You will never be condemned if you are in Christ and walk not according to the flesh. You will, you will be condemned only if you will not walk in Christ. Amen? So, sarap buhay talaga. It's so good when we have Christ. Amen? Kasi, walang, wala nang pangil ang demonyo sa'yo. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Sa hapong ito ngayon, we will discuss, we will add something about our identity. Hindi add in the context na kasi ang identity in Christ, kumbaga, you don't need to add it. Our identity in Christ is more than enough for you to reach your God-given destiny. Walang labis, walang kulang. Amen? If you have the identity in Christ, wala ka nang dapat idagdag doon. It's more than enough Amen? Anong, at ang saya-saya mo dyan, Ate Clement. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 
O di ba? Pag alam mo na ikaw ay pauwi na. May ticket ka. Di ba? Isa lang. Isa lang is, is, there's only one emotion that you can really sense. But happiness, somehow joy. Same is true when you know that you have a one ticket sa ating Ama sa Langit. Alam mo na yun, even you are spending here in this world wherein the, pre, the, the prince is uh, Mr. Lucy. May galang ba no? <laughs> Mr. Lucy. Uh, you will be rejoicing. One thing, eh, wag niyong iwala yung mga ticket na yan. Amen? Hold it. Keep it. Kasi walang ibang hahanapin sa airport kundi ticket mo. Sa aeroplano. Oo. Siyempre, ang passport, ang visa mo, part na yun ang identity mo. You have to hold something para makaano. Diba? Huwag niyong isanla yung passport niyo. Ha? Huwag niyong ipahiram yung passport niyo. Huwag niyong i-garanty yung passport niyo. Ano po? Amen? First slide. And you have made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walk. Tayo ito before we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. According to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Sabi nyo nga sa katabi mo, alam mo? You are a son of obedience. Kasi si Lord ang sinusundan mo who obeyed the Father even to the point of death. Amen? Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. Hindi ito, hindi ito, again, hindi ito, uh, hindi ito pang huhusga. Hindi ito, kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, from the very beginning, you are saved by grace. There is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ. We are cool with God. Amen? God is allowing us to progress. Alam mo, lahat ng building mayroong pundasyon. Amen? Amen? So, meron na tayong pundasyon. Pero sa lahat ng nasa construction doon, every day there's a progress. Amen? Maliba na lang kung walang budget. Pero there is, I have a good news. Sa karian ng Diyos, hindi nauubusan ng budget. Ano mang problema mo sa buhay, sarili man, sa kapitbahay mo, problema mo sa kanya, or siya may problema sa iyo, God has never, hindi naubusan ang Diyos sa iyo. Actually nga, bumubuhos araw-araw eh. Overflowing every day. Amen? Kaya, makakarinig tayo, katulad ni Pastor Boy, makakarinig ka sa kanya, eh, paganda ng paganda ang buhay mo. Pabuti ng pabuti. Patino ng patino. Mas mabuti ka kaya sa kahapon. Di ba? Kasi alam ng Diyos, siya mismo alam niya kung anong source meron ka. 
Pag sinabi ni Mr. Dat- dati picture lang, ngayon, balon na. Di ba? Picture lang yung dala-dala. No umalis, dala, balon. Balon. Malalim. Amen? Kaya ganun kahalaga na maintindihan natin ang mga bagay na excited si Lord sa progress mo. Amen? Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, excited, excited. si Lord, Lord sa progress mo. Amen? Kaya i-enjoy mo ang buhay na under sa proseso ng totoong uh, engineer, ng totoong designer, ng totoong creator. Next slide. Next slide na. <laughs> the peril of not progressing. Let's read this. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. Sabihin mo nga, it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come if they fall away and renew them again to repentance. Amen? It is impossible. Amen? It is impossible. When you already tasted how good God is, Sino nakaranas ng kabutihan ng Lord dito? Amen. O di ba lahat tayo? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, it's impossible, it's impossible. na mag-fall away ka pa. It's impossible na mag, mag-backslide ka pa. It's impossible. Labi, la, amen? Pag if you encounter God's goodness, wala na. May nanalo na talaga. Ikaw yun. Although alam natin na may shortcomings tayo everyday, may mistake tayo everyday, meron tayong mga pangyayari sa buhay na pretty ano, challenging. But then again, there's a good news. God is with us. And it's impossible for you to fall away. Kasama natin ang Diyos. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, kasama natin ang Diyos. Ano mang hamon mo sa buhay? Ano mang hamon mo sa buhay ngayon? Hindi yan part ng eternity mo. That's part of your temporary life. Amen. Hindi ka nabubuhay sa temporary na buhay. Nabubuhay ka sa eternal na buhay. The very day you accepted Christ was the very day you started your eternity life. Huwag mong hintayin na mamatay ka bago makita ang eternity. Amen? Huwag, huwag sana maging trahedya yung Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Second year ka ng mamana. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Five years. Open the eyes of my... <laughs> Ten years. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Ha? Twenty years. Open pa din. Gabi. Ano yun, ano? Arang trahedya yun. Dapat, unang, unang, uh, unang encounter mo pa lang sa, sa Diyos, I see the Lord. Ganun na. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Amen? Binuksan na ng Diyos 
ang mga mata natin. Amen? Kaya wala nang dahilan magbulag-bulagan. Amen? Next slide, please. Alam ko, ito yung excited. Dito kayo excited eh. Doble kara. Hindi nyo alam? Akala ko pa naman, siguro malalaman ito. May mga hilig munood ng teleserye. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko din alam eh. <laughs> alam nyo, sa totoong buhay, in, in real life, if we will not consider the teleserye, these two ladies... They are one. Wala siyang kambal actually. They are. Sino? Sino nga? Sino nga? Dito updated, updated dito. Sino? Sino? Julia Montes. Si Julia Montes. At ito, ito ang partner ni Kuku Martin. Kuku Martin. <laughs> Na ano kasi ako napunta ako sa mayroong uh, uh, sa Facebook ba? Mayroong sinabi si Robin Padilla. Tapos nabasa ko yung pangalan ni Coco Martin. Sino uh, ko sino sino ba to si ano Coco Martin mga ganun. Tapos eto napunta ako diyan. Tapos sabi ko, uy, magandang ma- magandang ano to, magandang illustration. Uh, isang tao lang siya pero sa teleserye dalawa siya. Nag-usap nga kami ng asawa ko kanina. Sabi niya, even twins, they are not completely identical. Even twins, they are completely, they, they're unique. Unique to each other. Amen? Amen? And you know, Pag-uusapan natin sa hapong ito ngayon, do not die as someone else. <laughs> do not die as someone else. This is part of our identity. Amen? Why? Why die? Di ba? Do not die. Parang ma- malalaman na kaagad natin. Parang may negative connotation, no? Pero alam nyo, there is only one thing that is finite in this life. At alam, ano nyo yun? Death. The Bible says in Hebrew 9, there is, ano, uh, we will die once. And after that, judgment na. At least, you die once, you must also live once. Hindi kadalawa. Amen? And there's only one thing that will make us live as who we really are. And that is why sabi ko, that's why I say uh, earlier that uh, when you have the identity in Christ, wala ka ng ibang kailangan. Sabihin mo nga, when you have the identity in Christ, wala ka ng ibang kailangan. Amen? Amen? Lahat ito, konektado ito, if you seek the kingdom of God first, and His righteousness, and all these things, konektado ito lahat. Kasi in the kingdom of God, you only have one. Nang uh, triune God was they were completely united. A little while longer, and the world will see me no more. See me no more. See, see me no more. The world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I lived, you will also live. And that day, you will know that I am in my Father. And you in me, and I in you. He who was my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will love will be loved by my Father and I will love Him and manifest myself to Him. Alam niyo, ang pangyayaring ito, ang scenario dito was before the ano, uh, day of uh, Pentecost na uh, approaching. 
And when, ano, day of Pentecost, most of the time, family gathers. They, they gather together. Ewan ko lang kung sino sa inyo na napunta dito na meron tayong ginawang washing of the feet. Na hindi yun ginagawa sa mga ano, hindi yun mga ginagawa sa, hindi mo kilala. Most of the time, sa context, ha, sa mga kakilala. Pero as we serve one another, as we humble ourselves to one another, we clean their, their feet. Pero yun, ang gusto kong maintindihan sa atin ng Lord, ang konteksto ito was inside a family. Inside ay uh, andun si Jesus Christ at andun yung mga disciples. Bago ito, bago ito, bago siya, uh, bago ang, uh, bago siya maipako. These are the things we want to see and understand. Hindi lamang magiging simpleng alam natin, but, sim- but more is makita at maintindihan. The world will see the Lord no more. Yet there are times, challenge ito, kahit anong bahagi, kahit anong bahagi mo, since yung binabahagian mo ay ano pa nang sabihin na nating blinded by this world, ikaw na nagbabahagi or naka-experience ng manifestation ng Diyos, napapansin mo, challenged. Sino nakaranas noon? Sino nakaranas noon? Tas kamay. Challenge the challenge kasi scripture man nagsabi, they will never, they will never see. Ito pa yung worse. They will see the Lord no more. Second, the disciples abide and see the Lord. Amen? Kaya napakahalaga, it's so important for you and me to understand the life of a disciple. Kasi it's only the disciples can really abide, can really remain. You keep coming to service not because you are a church member. Not because of your friend. But simply because you know somehow in your spirit that you are following Christ. Molding, uh, somehow on a process to be mold as a disciple. And when you become a disciple, wala ka nang hiya sa labas. Amen? Sila na mag-iingat, sila na mag-iingat sa'yo. Hello? Amen? The disciples will remain and also live. Sabihin mo nga sa, kat- sa katabi mo, Alam mo, pag naging disciple tayo at hindi tayo tumigil, we will remain and also live. Amen? The Father, the Lord, and the disciples are one. Nabasa niyo yun kanina? All that, all, at that day, you will know that I am my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Amen? The Father, the Lord, the disciples are one. Amen? We are His beloved if we keep His commandments. Kaya napaka sarap Pag nari, narinig mo, 
Pag narinig nung si Jesus guys, tinupad ang righteousness ng Diyos and fulfill the law and the prophets, narinig niya sa kanyang ama, This is my beloved son in whom I am well placed. Because of what? He kept the command. Hindi tayo, ano dito, hindi tayo legalistic. We are just sharing what the scripture say. At the end of the day, you can decide. Pakahalaga na somehow we really grow in prayer, we grow in the ministry of the Holy Spirit inside our life or within our life. Kasi this is the only uh, this is the only time wherein the preaching of the word will not become vanity but then reality. Amen? Keep His command. When you keep His command, you will be intimate with God. May example ako sa inyo. Between husband and wife, Kunting shortcomings lang. You will miss. Short, short din na intimacy. Pag merong kuman ng husband na hindi nasunod ng wife or merong kung merong kuman si wife na hindi nasunod ng husband meron ding short na gap. Di ba? Mamiss nyo yung two minutes na intimacy. Amen? Hello? Ang mga single, ayoko kami po. Okay lang yun. Okay lang yun. Naiintindihan namin. Naiintindihan namin. <laughs> okay lang yun. Okay lang yun. Amen? Malinaw ba yun? Pero pag nakuha mo, natumbok mo, natumbok natin. Di ba? Ang sarap ng ngiti. Oh, si Ate Clement, tingnan mo. O, oh, di ba? O, oh, ingay. <laughs> pag natumbok mo ang kalooban ng iyong partner, pag, pag natumbok natin ang kalooban ng kapartner natin sa buhay, sabihin mo nga, natumbok mo. John 14:22 Judas hindi si Iscariot ha kasi meron <laughs> wag yan si Iscariot eh badlong man yun <laughs> Judas not the Iscariot said to him Lord how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world Sino bang nakapagtanong na nito while you were reading this Lord why to us, mga disciple? Why to us and not to the world? You have said that you came to seek and save the lost. The world is lost. But kami. Sino na nagtanong nito? Ngayon ba lang? Oo. Why me? Why me? Sabihin mo sa katanya, why not? Oh, di ba? Ang sagot ni Lord. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Wow. He who does not love me does not keep my words. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. Amen? Kaya nga, I, I, I really encourage everyone here, bago mo ma-memorize ang letter ni Paul or ni Peter, I pray na somehow you will desire 
the very words that Jesus spoke straight and that proceeds from His mouth. Simpleng parable pa lang, hindi mo nakakailanganin ang letter ni Paul. Pero I'm not saying hindi importante ang letter ni Paul. Pero kung gusto mong magsimula ng tamang pasimula, huwag kang magpapalo. Bumalik ka sa tamang pagpapakumbaba. Nagets nyo? Sa letter, papaluin ka lang, pero hindi ka ipapakilala sa totoo mong sarili. Amen? Sa salita ng Lord, ibabalik ka kung sino ka, kung ano ka, kung ano ang kaya mong gawin. Ibabalik ka kung sino ka hindi, kung ang hindi dapat mong kayang gawin. Ganon ang salita ng Panginoong Hesus. Amen? Amen? Pero okay lang talaga magbasa ng letter. Hindi ko sinasabi na wag mong basahin yun. Pero, if there is, if I may say, discover the very words of Jesus Christ. Because Peter said, where shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Di ba? Hello? Meron pa ang sabi sa Corinthians si Paul eh. Sabi niya, kaya kung nung nabasa ko ito, sabi ko talagang turuan mo ako, mahalin ang salita sa gospel or sa synoptic. Kasi sabi, niya, sabi ni Peter sa isang letter, hindi ko ito sinasabi dahil sinabi ng Diyos sa akin. Sabi ko, na-realize ko. Ay, may mga nasabi pala si, ano, si Paul na maaring hindi talaga applicable sa buhay mo. When uh, context-wise or context reading, hindi kita pwedeng paluin nang wala ka namang kasalanan, madadamay ka sa sala niya. ba? Kawawa din. Si Lord Jesus nga, nadamay na nga. Pero buti yun si Lord Jesus Christ. Nung nadamay siya, damay tayong lahat. Dahil sa kabutihan niya, naging mabuti tayo. Dahil sa katinuan niya, naging matino tayo. Halo. Amen? Amen? Amen. We desire to see and understand anyone who this doesn't need any uh, religious qualification. Hindi mo kailangan maging uh, ma-master ang Torah or mag ka sa school ng mga Pharisee or school ng mga Sadducee. It's more than enough na you love the Lord Jesus Christ. Alam mo ba paano magmahal sa Panginoong Jesus? Sino ang nakapagtanong na nito? Lord, paano ka bang mahalin? Sinulat ko na pala, no? <laughs> Paano mo masasabi na mahal mo ang asawa mo? Oh, pa- dito, dito na lang para common sa lahat. Paano mo masasabi na mahal mo ang tatay mo? O oh, ba alam natin lahat, no? Di ba? Di ba, master talaga natin to. Alam natin ano dapat ano isagot. So, somehow, let us pray na as we love Jesus Christ, we love also His Word. Amen? Amen? Kaya ako, Lord, nagpaturo ako, Lord, turuan mo ako. Paano kitang mahalin? Sa, actually, sa, sa Bible school lang ako, nakakabalik sa letter eh. Or sa Old Testament. 
Pero sa devotion ko, na-enjoy ko na ang salita ng Panginoong Jesus. Nakakagawa lang ako ng, ng letter sa ano, pag meron akong assignment. O, nagbubukas ako ng letter. O, ito na naman tayo sa letter. Galitan na naman tayo. Damay na naman ako nito ngayon. <laughs> Amen? Church of Dubai ka, hindi ka Church of Ephesus. Church of Dubai ka, hindi ka Church of Corinthians. Church of Dubai ka, hindi ka Church Colossians, Galatians, Thessalonians, name it. Challenge nyo? Kasi ibabalik tayo ng Diyos sa Kanya. Hindi kanya ibabalik sa Church of Colossians or Church of ano Church na inestablish ng mga natutulang din sa Panginoong Hesus. Ibabalik kanya sa Ama na tumawag sa iyo. Ito ang mensahe ng kaharian. Ibabalik ka sa totoong ikaw. Amen. Kaya nga minsan Nagpe-pray tayo ng ano? Unity. Sinong hindi nag sinong nag hindi nagpray dito ng unity? Kuya, kung may mind of Christ ka at merong siyang mind of Christ, anong problema yung dalawa? Ate, kung meron kang mind of Christ at meron siyang mind of Christ, anong problema yung dalawa? Ate, dahil magkatabi kayo, kung meron kang mind of Christ at meron siyang mind of Christ, anong problema niyong dalawa? Nagets nyo? Nagets nyo? Unity is a byproduct. our mind that is in Christ. Amen? Problema ang unity? Hindi, nasa problema ng mind of Christ. Hello? Amen? Problema ang panalangin? Hindi, nasa mind of Christ. Ministry of the Word? Hindi, nasa mind of Christ. Bakit walang mind of Christ? Kasi lost sa identity. Dito na nga ako, baka ayaw nyo na sa akin. <laughs> if we love God, if we love the Lord Jesus Christ, we will love His Word. Amen? Ako naniniwala ako, again, sabihin ko sa ito, naniniwala ako, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. that the man of God will be totally equipped for every good works. From Genesis to Revelation, all those statements, all those words are simply true, pure. Naniniwala tayo doon. Kaya nga minsan, when we approach somebody, tatanungin natin, Ate, ano bang problema mo? Di ba? Hindi natin babasagan kaagad ng To those who are in Christ, they are a new creation. You can do all things through Christ. Aalamin mo kung ano meron siya. Kasi papasok ka sa konteksto kung magbabahagi ka ng letter. Sasabihin mo siya na ano, do not divorce your wife. Single pa. Diba? Tama sana yung sinabi mo eh. Kaso sa akin, <laughs> nagpipray ko mga ako ng partner. Tumigil. Tumigil. Tumigil ka muna. Wala ba akong partner? Okay na sana. Word of God na sana yung binigay mo eh. Kaso hindi naging effective. 
Amen? Kaya minsan, ah, dito na nga, balik ako dito, balik ako. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who has sent me. Abba Father, normal, byproduct ito. Sabi nyo nga, byproduct. If you love the Lord Jesus, if you love His Word, merong divine after effect. We love Him. Sino? Abba Father, our Father in Heaven, we love Him. At alam natin yun, when we encounter this, when we experience this, you will never feel like an orphan. Lord, no one sent me a message today. I will not go to church. The entire week, Lord, no one has called me. I will never go to church. But then, since you love the Word, you love the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, no one sent me a message but you love me, Lord. I will go. I will come. I will sit there. Amen? Amen? Regardless, Lord. Regardless. Because I know it is not the pastor who is pasturing there who has called me. It was clear in my spiritual ears you call my name amen so yeah, see, brother ano look brother kim brother kim he knows one thing is for sure although he was invited pero alam niya sa Siguro sa mga quiet time niya, may gagawin si Lord sa buhay ko. Amen? So, hindi yan, alam ko, hindi yan titigil. Naranasan niya na ang kabutihan ng Lord. Pinaintindi niya sa ang kabutihan ng Lord. Hindi siya nag-iisa sa laban na meron siya. Kasama niya ang Diyos. Kaya napakalaki ng dahilan niya. Napakalaki, napakalawak ng dahilan niya. Not to miss one Friday. And not to miss the entire week to praise the Lord. Amen? Who are we then? Sino ba talaga tayo? Sino ka ba talaga? Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, sino ka ba talaga? Tagal-tagal na natin dito. Di ka pa rin kita kilala? Who are you? Tawin mo. Who you? Who are we then? John 1.12 But as many as receive Him, to them He gave the power. Sabihin mo nga, He gave the power. For you and for me to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on His name. Yeah, nga minsan yung iba na hindi naniniwala ng ibang faith. Ako in apart from uh, dogmas and uh, apart from doctrines, ah, hindi ko nga sila pwedeng husgahan eh. If they say they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God, walk in this planet called the Earth, died on the cross for their sin. And on the third day, he rose again. Hindi ko sila pwedeng husgahan. I can only bless them na they will walk as sons and daughters of God, manifesting the glory of the Father. Amen? Manifesting. Kaya nga lang natin nire-remind our identity. That is why every now and then, we are trying to remind each one of us our identity in Christ. Simply because 
there is a manifestation. Amen? Amen? Ah, kahit nga, oh, kung tatanungin ako, Lord, hanggang siguro matapos na yung araw, hanggang matapos na yung buhay ko, dito lang ako sa identity. Kasi, pag alam mo, pag identity ka, mag meron kang identity, hindi nagbabago ang pangalan mo. Hindi nagbabago ang buhay mo. Isa lang karakter mo, isa lang yung pinapakita mo, isa lang lahat. Pag meron kang identity na nanggagaling sa Panginoong Yesus, pag wala, iba ka dito, iba ka doon, paiba-iba. Hala, praise the Lord siya kanina. Ngayon. Pero tinuturuan tayo ng Lord. By choice, we are sons of God as we take hold the gospel of the kingdom of God that Jesus Christ preached and things concerning Himself. Again, this is not concerning Paul. This is not concerning Peter. This is not concerning John. This is not concerning anyone but concerning our Lord Jesus Christ. We can learn from Him. We can learn from those people, but there is far that it's far better to learn from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. Amen. Huh? Sorry, naman. I and my Father are one. This is a prayer. Amen? Kaya nga, kaya nga, ako, I encourage you to really, ano, kasi, there will be time. There will be time. Ako, sabihin ko sa inyo, ha, there will be time na all of us will be going to Philippines. All of us will be ministers. Pero napakaganda yung nagpasimula ka sa kung paano nagpasimula ang Panginoong Hesus. From the time he woke up, napunta na kaagad yan sa uh, quiet place niya, sa quiet time niya, and seeking the counsel of the Father praying. Amen? So I pray as as a UBG family who will be representing the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you go or saan ka mapunta in the future, learn to pray in the morning. Seek His counsel as you wake up Minsan, late ka nang nagigising kasi late kang natulog. Pwede naman, sa pagkaligo mo. Lord, tumbling na ako nito. Pero, or pag... Amen? Meron din din, every Friday, meron din tayong don't watch. I'm encouraging everyone to come just pray. Seek the Lord. Seek His face. Seek His will. Amen? At pag hindi ka naka-attend ng Friday morning, meron din Friday afternoon. Diba? Wala ka talagang ligtas. Wala kang time sa morning, merong afternoon. Amen? But this will only happen when we lived not as someone else but when we live just like Christ lived Amen Alam ng Lord na meron tayong challenge Alam ng Lord na meron tayong struggle sa buhay Alam ng Lord na meron tayong problema Sa tingin nyo si Lord Jesus Christ walang problema nung naglakad siya sa mundong ibabaw 
lahat ng problema. Lahat ng problema. Pinagdaanan niya din. Hanggang sa kauli-hulihan ng kanyang buhay, kauli-hulihan ng kanyang hininga, naging tapat siya. Kung kinaya yun ng Lord, through the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, through the will of the Father, sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, hindi ka orphan. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Greater is He who is in you than He who is in the world. Ano ang hindi nyo kayang gawin para sa Panginoon? Amen? Ano, sabihin nyo nga sa katabi, ano pa ang hindi nyo kayang gawin para sa Panginoong Diba? Inavailable na lahat. Meron na tayong Ama sa Langit. Meron pa tayong Spirito. Amen? Do not live as someone else. Live as a child of God. Live as son, sons and daughter of the Most High. Amen? Huwag kang maging Michael Jordan. Hinawag ka ng Lord to imitate Christ. Huwag kang maging Michael Jackson. You are very unique in Christ. Amen? Huwag kang maging sino man. Kakantahin ko na sana. Eh. Amen? Let's all rise.